fucking ready? Get this shit popping, motherfucker! Yeah! I'm bringing you motherfucking dead profile, bitches! Motherfucker, three legend mics, big motherfucker! What? Fuck with it! Zephyrus, full force, motherfucker! <laughs> What's up, guys? It's Austin from EGA3. Uh, it's Clay. Um, and uh, this is my Zephyr deck profile. Uh, <laughs> I made a lot of changes changes to it since I uh, last made a deck profile. Uh, and um, this is just the new deck I've been playing with. I've, I've changed it. I think these are the better options, so let's just say that this is a better uh, deck overall after I've played it and looking in retrospect. Uh, I already have a deck profile, so I'm not going to go into the um, effects in too much of detail. Just a vague description. Uh, but first, you run three Zephyrath. He's like your main monster. He's the best to have in the scale because you dump one and make him the scale of whatever you dump. And then uh, he, whenever you summon, you can get an extra pendulum summon. But it's kind of hard to summon him, but it's fine because he is really good with 35 or 3450. Next, you run three uh, Zephwanu, uh, Secret of the Yang Zing. Um, when it's Pendulum Summon, you can add a Zephyr or Yang Zing spell or trap from your deck to your hand. That's all that's really important. Uh, next, for three ofs, you're in three Astrograph Sorcerer. Uh, it's just really good for your Electromite plays and a bunch of other stuff. Being able to make a Vortex Dragon, a uh, Bore Load, and a Deco Talker um, is very good using this card. Um, next, you're in three Abyss Actor Curtain Razor. I was only running two, but I've now realized that this is so good. It kind of sucks to draw in pairs, but you can always uh, just normal summon it or something. But uh, especially because if you do draw two, you can use one effect to special summon it, normal summon the other one, and that way uh, you didn't have to use any Zephyr monsters to make your Electromite. Um, next, you run three Armageddon Knight to send to Strudo, and then do that crazy combo where you get out a, a Metal Tron for free, pretty much. Uh, that's all for three of's. Now for two of's, you run uh, Zephyraxi on Treasure of the Yang Zing. And um, whenever it's Pendulum Summon or Normal Summon, you make uh, Zephyr Monster a tuner. Uh, it's pretty good. Uh, one window. Um, you, whenever it's Pendulum Summon or Normal Summon, you can add a Zephyr Monster from your uh, extra deck to your hand. Um, one Satellar Knight. Uh, he pops face up by tributing a Zephyr Monster. And then one other, the other guy, he pops face down by tributing a Zephyr Monster. Uh, one Stargazer? Yeah, Stargazer for the Astrograph. Uh, one Destruto for the Armageddon plays. Uh, one Mare Mare for the same play. Uh, the only hand trap I run is one Drolling Lock. It's probably like one of the best hand traps, but I've been playing it some lately and it's been really good actually. Uh, but anyway, that's it for the monsters. Now it with the spells. You run three Zephyr Province. It's the best spell in the deck. It lets you search any of your Zephyr cards, even even the field spell, and then it has protection in the grave. Uh, next three Zephyr Oracle or Oracle of Zephyr. Uh, it, it only searches monsters, so it's not as good as uh, Providence, but it also has those good bonus effects being special summon stuff and draw and stuff depending on what you use. And overall, it's just a really good field spell. Uh, to search out your field spell, you run three terraforming. Um, uh, pretty self explanatory. Uh, next, you run two wavering eyes. I was playing it at three, but I really don't like it at three because it could stall some, it could uh, uh, brick your hand pretty bad, so I'd rather not do that. Because you, a lot of times you don't have enough scales to really pop and then still get advantage off of it. So this is better not to draw it in some cases. Uh, next, Called by the Grave. Uh, this card's really good against a bunch of different types of decks. And that's why I'm playing it in the main. Uh, next, one Upstart. Uh, playing, I'm playing like 44 cards, but playing 43 is nice. Next, uh, one Raigeki. Uh, finally got one, so Raigeki, obviously I'm going to play it. Uh, next... Run uh, one Twin Twister slash uh, Cosmic Cyclone. I just don't have any Cosmic Cyclones, and Twin Twister's been doing me pretty good, so I guess I'll just stick with it. Uh, that's it with the spells. Um, a lot of monsters, normal amount of spells, not very many traps. Uh, so for traps, you run the Solemn Brigade, and then one Nine Pillar of the Yang Zing. Uh, it's searchable, so you only run one, and you tribute what you search it with, so it it's, doesn't really lose out, and it can negate anything, and it's a counter, so why not? Uh, that's it with the main deck. Now with the extra. And I guess, I uh, think, I, yeah, I have enough time for uh, side, probably. But first, for the extra deck, you run um, three Electromite. You can run two, but three is definitely optimal, just because uh, being able to abuse it with Astrograph is so broken and gets you so much advantage. Uh, Next, from a Starboy for the um, play with Armageddon Knight and stuff, one um, Zephyr Metaltron, 
just because it's a pretty good uh, three with a bunch of good arrows. Uh, one decode. Uh, well, the metal trine and the decode are how you get out absolute, and then uh, you use it in an electromite to link into these two to get the vortex. Uh, next, one bore load, just really good for attacking everything. Uh, one scarred warrior or just a level five synchro. You need this for the um, Armageddon Knight Destruo plays. Uh, one coral dragon because it's fairly easy to make and it's just really good. One Yazi Evil of the Yang Zing, part of the uh, the plays obviously. Um, one ancient fairy dragon which it can be part of the plays and usually that's how you summon it. Uh, one Chow Fang. Uh, it's really good for stalling and the special summoning is pretty good and it has pretty good attack so why not. Uh, one Photon Strike Bouncer, uh, it's like a baby crystal ring without the attack boost and stuff. And uh, 2700 is not bad. Uh, next one Absolute, and then last one Vortex. Vortex, I have won a bunch of games off of it, just summoning it and um, my opponent not being able to do anything. So it's just really good. Uh, now to the side deck, because I did just um, take it to the tournament. Uh, surprisingly enough, the tournament actually wasn't held because there weren't enough people, but we uh, played like amongst ourselves and it did fairly well against other people's decks. So, first for side deck, uh, three Ghost Ogre. It's just really good in general. Uh, one Call of the Grave. These aren't in like monster order or anything. I just kind of have them in here in any other order. Uh, three Forbidden Chalice. Or not three, two. Uh, two D Barrier. The other um, Wavering Eyes. DD Crow. Different dimension uh, ground. This is really good against graveyard decks. Uh, and I know this isn't 15, but I have some other cards. I can't exactly find them right now. Like, I'm pretty sure I had um, another. Um, I think I had a Zephyr War on the side deck. I guess it doesn't matter. But uh, anyway, guys. Um, actually, actually, before I end off the video, I gotta mention something. Uh, no one actually entered the, entered the giveaway, so I guess I'm not giving away anything. But uh, I will have another giveaway up pretty soon because I have like five Ghost Ogres and I'll probably just give another one away. So be tuned for that. Um, and uh, so if you like the video, please like and subscribe. I really appreciate it. Um, this deck is fairly cheap besides the Electromites. And even then, they're actually pretty, they're not that expensive anymore. But uh, if you like the video, um, please subscribe to the channel. And I'll catch you guys next time. Peace. Uh -huh.